Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Locked Up RC Monday Night Facebook Live Stream. I am your host, Patrick. As always, because we are so professional with this, if there are any audio or visual problems, please let me know so I can make some adjustments. See, I already see one thing I want to try to fix. I said I was going to fix this last week, or no. We talked about fixing this during Jackie's live stream. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I crash the stream. I will restart it immediately. What's up, Sean? That looks like it was successful. Let's see what happens live in real time because I have one monitor showing me, yeah, hey, that's fun. I can move it all around and be ridiculous. Good, good times. That makes me happy. Tonight on the calendar, as you may have already guessed, is the SDX10 H2. We are going to be looking at putting in the rest of these SSD parts. That's the Dana 60 parts. Going to try to get that in the rear end of this thing. We are also going to, let's see, what else is on the calendar? I have to apologize to Eric Phillips, our winner from, oh, how many weeks ago was that? Two weeks ago, I think, Eric won our original uh, well, what do we want to call these? I guess our prototype AR60 diff covers. I told him I would put some M2 by one hardware in these for him. So I'm going to do that. I think that's the first thing we're going to do. That is the first thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do, and I have my list over here. That's why I keep looking. <clears throat> the second thing we're going to do is get into the H2. Uh, then we are going to, because I, I can't leave well enough alone. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had this HeyOK controller in our TRX4 that I thought burned up. And, and it may still be burned up. But I have a Castle BEC set to 6 volts because I realized the last time we tried this, we weren't trying it on 9 volts or whatever. Uh, I think the, let's see, we tried it with a 2S LiPo, which, hey, that's not 6 volts. So we want to try this again. I think it may actually work. If it does work, we might give this away next week because, hey, it's a perfectly good controller, but I've already opened it and I wrote a six on it. So that's not going to work as, as far as selling it new. We wouldn't want to do that. Uh, we will have a giveaway also. if uh, Well, we'll have time for that. Uh, the last thing, if we have time, somewhere floating around here, I have some shock hoops for the... TF2 K5 Blazer, some prototypes that I had made. I don't know if we'll have time to get to that, but we'll see what we get into. Or we'll see how long it takes to get into everything. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. I'm going to adjust the camera here for a second so that stuff is a little bit more in front of me. As I frequently do, I run into this camera with my head all the time, and I accidentally move it over, and then stuff is off-center. And that's no good. We don't want that. So let me adjust that really quickly. Uh, you may have noticed I have the selfie cam up now. Someone had requested that. I think Sean actually requested it during Jackie's live stream. But I guess that maybe it seems more interactive. And that's that's totally fine. You'll have to forgive me because I'm not used to having the camera there. And I do tend to look around while I'm talking. So this may get a little crazy. Um, I think with a lot of the live videos that I watch, people aren't always directly... Ah, hey, Red! Looking forward to seeing you this week here live in the studio. We're going to put you on film. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for tuning in, though. I'm going to have some water because I like water. Yeah, Sean, I thought it was you. Uh, someone else requested that, actually. Well, not requested. Suggested that as a change. So we always want to... Hey, we want this to be fun for everybody, so if there are things that we can improve, please let me know. So first things first, let me <clears throat> see. Jackie was using our little workspace here, and she still is. She will be back tomorrow with the Jackie Builds a Capra. If you haven't watched that, it's, it's actually pretty fun. Uh, Jackie being our zero experience builder, she has gotten into some RC things now, I guess. She uh, she had never even really seen a scale crawler, I think, before. Gosh, how long has she worked here? I don't know. She'd probably kill me if I didn't remember, but maybe like last April, May, something like that. She's been here for a while now. But we have her building Axial's latest kit, and it's been 
I think a good learning experience for her. Um, yes, Red, we are very much looking forward to seeing you guys. Uh, Jennifer has, I'd love to take credit for it, but uh, Jennifer actually has come up with some great ideas for stuff for us to do later this week. That's this week, yes. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so we're going to get into this. It's a little warm in here today, so forgive me if I do this stuff. It's winter, but we're in Texas, so, you know, it was 32 degrees or something last week, which, which is cold. Now it's, I don't know, is it like 75, 80 today? It's freaking... I mean, I don't mind the heat. No, that's not true. I don't like it when it's 110 degrees outside. I don't, I don't know a whole lot of people that are like, yay, my, my, my butt sweats as soon as I walk from the house to the car, but <clears throat> it's a little warm. What's up, Trevor? Thanks for joining, man. But the thing that I really don't like is when it's 32 and then like 80 because my body just doesn't get used to that stuff. So, right? I know. <sighs> Stop sweating so much. It's just this hair. Like I started growing the winter beard for beard vember. I don't know if that's actually a thing. I know November is, but somewhere somebody decided it should be beard vember because they like me. If you've seen a picture of me with just a mustache, it's not good. It's not good at all. I did. I dressed up as Bob from Bob's Burgers for Halloween a couple of years ago with my friend Haley. I'll have to try to dig up a picture and share that. And uh, I looked really bad. I mean, it looked like, I don't know. I'll keep it family friendly, but I will say I looked like a star of an adult film from maybe the 60s, 70s. Did they have them back then? They had to, right? I don't know. Does anybody know when adult films started? Wow, tonight is just... It's gone south already. I bet it is still cold there. Canada. Yeah. Porn stash. Yeah. See, I was trying to avoid... Yeah. Well, you know what? I guess... Well, now I've said it out loud, so it's going to show up on, on YouTube anyway. So what I'm going to start working on tonight, and I will do my best to keep up with the comments. I don't have Eric with me here tonight. Oh, that's right. Thank you for bringing that up, Justin. Uh, the command kit update. So we have finished the new version of the command kit rings. I don't have any on my desk. I started late tonight because I've just been running late. But the rings are finished. The centerpieces are finished. Everything's finished. We need to get them bagged up and prepared for sale. <clears throat> what am I working on tonight? Trevor, a couple of things. M2, see, I can't, I'm like ADD with these live streams. I can't focus on one thing. I need like a director over here somewhere giving me cue cards so let me back a step up i'll answer your question in a second Trevor. <clears throat> the command kit rings are done they need to be packaged they have been improved i think and by improved i mean we made a little bit more space underneath the middle of the ring for hardware behind the wheel that's not important for some of the wheels the wider wheels you could have used pretty much any hardware but now I think with the, the ADELs, the AO8s, and the SLWs, even if you already have like our scale acorns that are in there, you don't have to mess with stuff as much. I, I haven't completely measured everything. I will have to update the fitment chart. I, I, I wanted to do that for today, for tonight, but I didn't get to it. I am, I failed. Oh boy, squirrel. Yeah, there's just squirrels everywhere. I make fun of my daughter for that. Hopefully she never watches this because she'll she'll see. So, Trevor, things we're working on tonight, which I already covered this, but we're going to install some M2x1 scale hardware in these AR60 diff covers. These were the prototypes before we came out with our aluminum black anodized versions that are in the store. These were just the stock covers that I messed with. We're going to get some M2x1 hardware in those. We're going to get these in the mail to Eric Phillips. Then we're going to get to the H2, which you can see sneaking in under the picture right here. I'm going to start work on getting, I said the rear earlier, I think, but we already got the rear in. We're going to start work on getting the front axle in. After that, I'm going to perhaps time permitting, or if I just run into a roadblock with the H2, which I'm half suspecting, but we'll get into that. I am still going to try to revive this Hey OK. Well, I can't. I'm still going to try to revive this Hey OK controller because I realized when I tested the 6 volt controller last time, I was actually using 7.2 volts. That doesn't work. Then we'll do a giveaway. Yes, we picked a giveaway from last week. It is Sean 
uh, pr- forgive me if I pronounce the last name incorrectly, Sean to- Toma, Toma, I think, T-H-O-M-A, um, contacted him earlier. He is last week's winner. He won a TRX4 FI spool and some skill goodies, jerry can, jerry can mount. After the giveaway, if we have time, I'm going to bust out the, let's see, uh, prototype TF2 shock hoops that I made. Let's see, Matthew, I may have asked this before, but which one of your wheels are on the H2? The H2 currently has a set of, I think they're 8L. Yeah, those are our adversary 8L wheels in a golden chromate finish with black steel, <clears throat> voice is cracking, black steel beadlock rings. Let's see, we've got M2 scale, uh, or M2 acorn nuts and M2 by 7 MCZ scale hex bolts. Man, that's a lot of talking. This was supposed to be getting things done. See, I'm not going to get stuff done if you guys keep making me talk. Now, where was I? I don't have my usual work mat with me, which is going to be extra fun since I'm working with the smallest piece of hardware possible. Jackie has borrowed that for her Capra build, and she has a whole mess of stuff on it, and I don't want to mess up her progress. That is the that wouldn't be That wouldn't be nice. My job is to help her burn her cocoa, things like that. I think I'm going to have to start making the schedules for these nights shorter, or I'm going to have to increase how long we go. I don't know. Let's see. Comments. Another Sean. Yes. Multiple Sean's. <laughs> well, Sean, I think I mentioned it before. Uh, I try to tailor the giveaway to whatever we're getting into that night. Tonight, I think, is actually going to be an exception. Uh, and here's why I found in my stash, I call it a stash. You know, when we're shopping for things, a lot of times we get one or two of something just to test them. Or sometimes some companies just send us stuff to test. Uh, in this case, I was testing some different t-shirts and we have a t-shirt locked up RC t-shirt to give away. I think it's looks black. Uh, that is an extra large. I apologize if that doesn't fit you. That's what we've got. So I think that's going to be the giveaway for tonight. I don't really have anything else lined up. I don't know what else I was going to say. And I've already drank a lot of my water. I need Eric here. He brings me water. I'm sure he doesn't bring me water. He allows me to go get my own water. But anyway, at some point, welcome Kevin, welcome Michelle. At some point, we will probably give that away. Um, don't like it when I say, um, or something, but for now, for now, for the fun of it, welcome Eric. Good to see you. We miss you over here. See, I'm, I'm no good without you. That's not true. I'm not, I'm not no good. I'm just not as good. So let's see how many of these do I need to put in? So similarly, I got that word out similarly to our beadlock rings what we have in these diff covers and in the anodized aluminum version I don't know which camera this is going to show up better in this camera is bigger I guess on your screen so as you can see hopefully maybe try this one the holes how do I catch the light there we go is that it yeah so there are some holes in there oh look at that double cameras Woohoo! <clears throat> the holes in these there are four that thread in so these two and these two that thread into the actual axle housing. The other ones are just for show, which is similar to our beadlock rings. Maybe a 10 minute warm up, an hour focus building and five minute wrap up. Man, that would be, that would be good. See, Matthew, you need to come visit. You can be my director on Monday nights. It's hard to do that though, because if I focus on building, I miss comments, which, Nobody likes that. See, oh man, I'm definitely missing my mat already. Little screw number one already ran across the desk. Where'd it go? <laughs> Curses. There it is. So one thing I do want to point out to anyone that has not used this M2 by one hardware. And actually, before I get to that, for our beadlock rings, you do not need to use M2 by one hardware unless you have one of our very, very old wheels. 
all of our new wheels, right, are drilled so that you can use M2 by seven screws that will thread into the ring and pass into the wheel. So when I said this is similar to our beadlock rings, I meant similar, not exactly the same. Anyway, so that's one thing. Now, if you have a set of our really old wheels and you want to use some of our current rings, you absolutely can. You can either thread M2 by one hardware into them like, like this, or you can send us the wheels and we will drill them for the easy mount pattern. So you've got some options. You want to come run commentary, but hey, bring it. So <clears throat> now with our M2 by one hardware, because this stuff is so short, there's not going to be any good way for me to have this show up. What if I put my hand behind it? Will it focus? Focus on this. Yeah, no. Anyway, it's really short because it's one millimeter long. Because of the cutting process that is used to make these, sometimes the first revolution of thread kind of folds in on itself. So what I always recommend to people when they're using these, and not a whole lot of people should be using them anymore because we haven't sold those types of wheels in a long time. But what I always recommend to people is to take the screw and first thread it into an M2 nut, a steel nut, because basically that will reform that first thread. Do I do gift cards? Yes, we have gift cards. Absolutely, uh, I think we call them gift certificates in the store. I could be wrong. It would not be the first time. Where are my M2 nuts? It's going to be really funny if I can't find my M2 nuts. And by really funny, I mean that's not funny at all. I'm going to have to run in the other room and get M2 nuts. See, Eric, this is why I need you here. You know, I showed this bin to you guys the other day. Ah, oh, there they are. I put them in the wrong spot. Ha ha, success. See, even as I'm putting things back in here, they're going in the wrong place. I'm not doing a very good job of being organized in my inside my own organizer. So what I like to do is take just an M2 nut. Made a mess. It's no good. Can't have that. Maybe I maybe need to turn on the fan in here. It's a little toasty. Then I'll be sweaty and my hair will be windblown. That'd be better, I guess. Maybe if I didn't have jeans on inside. Ugh. Let's see. Where are we? Actually, Sean gift card might be a good giveaway one of these weeks. <clears throat> so back to our M2 by one screws. What I like to do is I have my little mini vice grips, super expensive brand, Harbor Freight. I hope that showed up. If not, you know, hope that came across audibly. That's what I mean. <clears throat> so I take my M2 nut and I just put it in my vice grips. I take my screw and I start to thread it in. Now, if it just grabs immediately, that's probably a good sign. That probably means the screw was okay. But if not, I just kind of give it a little bit of oomph. Now, you don't have to go Godzilla tight with this, <clears throat> but it will straighten out the threads. Enough so that you should, in theory, have no problem then threading this into your plastic diff cover or beadlock ring. Now this is definitely a project, I'm, I'm not on camera am I? This is definitely a project, these diff covers, if someone doesn't want to pony up the coin for our luxuriously machined units, they could make these by themselves. You just have to kind of pick your own little bolt pattern and just make sure you allow some space for the head of the screw. to fit, you know, between the side of the diff cover. Booyah, pretty simple. I know, you know, every now and then, maybe every two months or something, I get somebody asking me what the deal is with the M2 by one hardware. <clears throat> I had intended to make a install, a fantastic, you know, professional looking install video for those but that kind of stuff takes time and then I have to get a haircut and shave and you know I don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that. So 
as I always ask every night. Well, there's there's two things that I ask. <clears throat> two things I ask almost every week. Sean, I bet I bet you can name them. Stock mold screw head as pattern. Actually, yeah, Eric, that's probably what I did on this. So the two things that I ask every week are, what are you guys up to tonight? And who's got a dad joke? That's this is not on the official schedule for me to ask that, but I'd like to do it anyway. Did I forget to, to pre-thread that one? I don't remember. Like I said, probably don't need to do this with all of these, but especially because I'm working with plastic and there's not a whole lot of forgiveness, I really don't want to strip out my little plastic hole there. So I want to make absolutely sure that I have good little little holes there for this hardware to go into. Oh my, look at all the comments. Share and like the page. Yes, well, that's that's true. Yeah, we always do that. Sitting on the couch. Eric, for some reason, as, I, as I'm reading your comment, sitting on the couch, uh, it made me think of that ridiculous meme. I don't know if anyone saw it. It was like sitting on the toilet. Anybody see that one? Look it up. I need to figure out a way to draw the internet into this interface so that I can Google things. <clears throat> uh, hey Matt, these are locked up RC tools. Uh, this is a two, did I forget to do this one? I don't even know. All right, before I do something catastrophic, I can't remember. Uh, these are locked up RC tools. This is our three millimeter, wait, three millimeter bore tool handle. Uh, two millimeter, two millimeter HD socket tip. Blah. Can't talk. It's gotten into me. For someone that stumbles over words so much, you'd think I'd find something else to do other than a video broadcast. That's not doing. Staying warm in your bed or couch. Wait, what? Stay, keeping warm in my cozy bed, I'm staying cozy in my bed. That's, you confused me. Well played. That's not doing something. That's, that's doing nothing. You guys are supposed to be doing things and giving, sharing fantastic stories, the news of the world with me. I don't have any good news of the world stories today. If I wasn't running late, I actually wanted to read you guys some of the that one looks like I already did it. Can't tell. It's really, really short. <clears throat> I actually wanted to read some of the... Well, you guys tell me if that would be enjoyable. You know, we do have an FAQ on the site. People sometimes ask us the same question multiple times, which is fine. Sometimes they're already answered in the FAQ. Again, it's fine. It's not a big deal. But I thought it might be interesting to have like a... I don't know. Q&A section of the broadcast. I need to I need to turn so that I remember to have my hands on the center of the camera. I guess let's see. How would you guys feel about that? Went racing today. That's good. No breaks. Good, good. What's a ghost's favorite food? A banana. Red. Yes. Oh, I look forward to you being here so we can share the dad jokes. I don't know if you know this, Red, but my favorite dad jokes are the the cow series. I don't know why. I like, didn't have a cow growing up as a kid or anything, but there's a lot of them. I think I've actually said them before in this broadcast on a different episode, so some people may hear these multiple times, but what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Oh, I definitely need to add rim shot to the, to the audio panel here. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? A milkshake? There's others. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef? Things like that. There's a lot of them. Some of them aren't as good, but I still remember some of them. Like, uh... Let's see, what do you call it when a cow jumps over a barbed wire fence? Utter destruction? 
Yeah. What did the buffalo say to his son when he went to college? Bison? See, I paused for dramatic effect there. Getting fancier on the show. Unfortunately, I can't hear any of you laughing or going, oh, which I know most of you should be doing that one. Last five minutes for Q&A. Okay, well then we'll do that. So I guess I need to, I'll have to prepare for that a little bit because like I said, I want to have at least one question that I bring from the site every week, something that I can kind of go into depth and answer if I get, if I get one. Surprisingly, we don't really get all that many questions on the site. I guess some of them are... We get, we get a lot of requests from weird manufacturers from overseas that are asking if we want to carry their line of product. Like a, a, a lot. I feel like my... Not my email. I feel like the website is on a list somewhere of like, spam these dudes. I don't want to carry light bows. Yeah, the command rings are going to look good on anything that's... Actually, they'll look good on anything. Yeah. Hey. Six by six. What kind of body do you have on the six by six, Justin? Because now there's multiple... Different bodies out there, I think, that will work on those six by sixes, aren't there? Well, I guess, you know, you could always have a custom one too. So, good evening, David. Welcome. Sean, which one made you laugh? Tell me it was one of the cow jokes and not my just being ridiculous. Actually, don't tell me that it was a cow joke because then it, if it's actually making you laugh, it's not a good dad joke. It's supposed to be more of a groan. At least that's my understanding of it. I don't know. New contents. Need to get off of dad jokes. Or I need to get new dad jokes? I don't know. Welcome, Brian. Thanks for joining, man. What's going on in December that you're excited for, Sean? I mean, I know it's the holiday season and people often spend time with friends and family, which... I will be getting to do some of. Let's take them all the way. By the way, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I do have some weird background music playing. I had it on last time, so some of you may recognize it, but <clears throat> getting a new remote and family parties, yeah. I'm looking forward to my wife's eggnog, which I think she's actually making some this week because we have some family coming in town. And that, it's actual homemade eggnog. I grew up with store-bought eggnog, which I don't know even what's really in it, you know, I think a lot of times when you grow up with something as a kid, that's your bar for what it's supposed to taste like, for better or worse. And so when my wife said she was making eggnog, I was like, yeah, awesome. And I was expecting the like highly sugared, whatever ridiculous store-bought stuff. And hers tastes nothing like that, but it's delicious. It's totally different when you actually make eggnog at home and whatever she does with like whipping yolks and stuff together I don't I don't know or whites I guess it's probably egg whites it's, I don't think it's the yolks I don't know but it's way better and don't tell my mom but her beef stroganoff is also way better oh my god <sighs> David that's no good you need to get out there and bring it out man you know, step one is just charging batteries. Once you have the batteries charged, just, like, throw it in your trunk or something and 
drive around. I guess it depends on the type of batteries you have. If you have highly volatile, really five-year-old LiPos, don't throw it in the trunk. But get those batteries charged and just make a plan and stick to it. Get out there. I wish I could get out more than I do, but family commitments always. We always, and it's a good thing because I'm very happy to have a family. We always have something going on. It's hard to get out there. Sorry, Sean. I do like what I got requests for cheesecake at the holidays. Yeah. Uh, Brian, I'll take some. Uh, can you do like a what's a good? What did we have? You know, there's there's a cheesecake factory here. I've never made homemade cheesecake, so I don't know how good cheesecake factory is versus real cheesecake. I guess I don't know. Yeah, David, if you have lipos and you don't already have one, where did I put those things? <clears throat> Right? I don't sell these in the store, so this isn't like product placement. Bat safe. It's not for Batman. You can also like make your own, but this is a great place to store batteries, right? Good space. Got a silicone plug. You run your batteries, uh, the wires and everything through. At the bare minimum, this is what you want. Because if you go get on YouTube and watch some lipo fires, you will say, holy shit. And you will go right out and buy one of these. I don't carry them because they're a, a big item and our store was kind of built around lots of small things that actually will be changing but sitting in an ammo can okay so that's a good place to start what's wrong with this stool it's no good I need a new stool Christmas I've kept them maintained but still kind of scared to run them if they're not puffy and you've got let's see where is my ah uh, somewhere I've got a battery tester I have too many things one second so these we actually do sell battery capacity controller I don't remember what we actually call it in the store <clears throat> but those are great for checking voltage and balancing things if you have a balancing charger that'll work too but if you just have batteries sitting around my stool is like doing this it's making me crazy I have a five leg stool and one leg is just sad I'm not that big I don't weigh enough to bend a leg it's like if I don't sit on it just right then the stool wants to do this <laughs> it's gonna make me crazy I don't know if y'all can hear when it. Yeah, I see. Okay, you can hear it. I'm, you can hear when I whisper. Good. Got out over the weekend. Good. 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 Brian, how is how is your cheesecake? No, that's not a fair question. How much better is your cheesecake than the Cheesecake Factory? And I ask that because most of the time I find that homemade stuff is better. You should send me some cheesecake. No one else needs any. So, Eric. I apologize for the delay. I have your diff covers done. I forgot. I'm going to leave these on top of my hardware bin because I'm going to package some spare hardware. M2 by 7 screws. I don't know if you have a tool. Let me know if you need a 2 millimeter driver if you see this, Eric. If not, I'll probably just send you one because, I don't know, I just like to make people happy. So, that's one thing off the list. Yeah. What's next? You know, I should start putting the agenda in the the description. That way, when y'all are tuning in, you already know. I'm learning. Everybody needs to order cheesecake, I guess. Grubhub or Uber Eats or whatever. What's next? Okay, this. This is going to be fun. Oh. So as you can see, I washed the H2. It's really clean now. There's no rust on it. Oh, yeah. 
I just keep forgetting to wash it. Got a bathtub. Just throw it in there. Oh, yeah. So to refresh those of you that may have missed, was it last week that we, we put the rear in? I don't even remember. See, now I really wish I had my magnetic mat because it's going to have parts everywhere. That's okay. So last week, that's what I store and charge my life with. Best of that. Good deal. <clears throat> so last time we put the SSD Dana 60 rear axle housing in. That's pretty good looking. I like it. It is still, of course, the original axial ring and pinion, so it's big. It's not quite as scale. I guess if this was real scale, it would be like a... God, what are those massive differentials they have on like the, the luggage moving carts at the airport? Uh, they're like Dana 70s or something. Uh, they're huge. Anyway, these things are big. The ring and pinion. The axles look, look good. They certainly look a whole lot better than what we have on the front. Now, in the front, this is going to be an adventure because because of the way the body sits I basically jacked up the I mean the front shocks on this are now longer than stock I think I added slightly longer shock shafts and you can see I mean this is screwed down part of the way both of the springs are in there and you know there's still lots of space in there <clears throat> to make uh, the body kind of fit on the chassis the way that I wanted. Uh, I also installed some shorter, I guess I'll stubby, whatever. Uh, we do sell these on Shapeways if you want some. They're little stubby shock hoops because I was trying to fit that whole big massive interior that comes with this body on there without having shock hoops coming up into the cargo area. So it is what it is. <laughs> Roman, that's okay. Uh, we installed some M2 by one scale hardware in the differentials that Eric Phillips won, I think two weeks ago. We are going to take a crack at putting the SSD, reach over here, the SSD Dana 60 front axle housing. Oh, we forgot the metal diff cover on the axle last time. We'll get to that one day. We're going to take a crack at getting this axle housing under the front of this. I have a Hale K 6 volt winch controller that I had previously tried to, I guess we'll say test, whatever. I'm still, I'm not giving up. I don't like to give up. We have a giveaway. And time permitting, I have some prototype shock hoops for my TF2 that I'm going to see if they do what I what I hope but for now the main issue so this axle right it's not so scale looking I mean it's better than the TLT axles that were the predecessor for these scale axles this axle specifically though so this was my first SCX 10 <clears throat> this axle has tubes in it these were the original gunner tubes. I took the gunner tubes, I welded, and I, I mean, I sat there and I built up material with my stick welder, built up material, drilled and tapped so I could put this bracket on because I needed a taller bracket than what was available with the, really the only three link kit that was available back then, which was the Hand Brothers. And they stopped selling their kit, and that's when we came out with our Pro CMS kit, which is kind of a twist on that Hand Brothers kit. So, the reason that I needed to have this taller bracket, which hopefully you guys can see that, is because I wanted to run the tie rod and the drag link on top of the knuckles, and these are high steer knuckles. So, things were customized. <clears throat> Now, some of this may get ugly with the SSD axles because they are not made to fit things the way that I did them. So 
I suspect this is not going to get done. Let's see. Question. What wires am I using for winch? They look thick. What wires am I using for the winch? What wires? Do you mean the winch line? I think that's some of our 300 pound winch line. It's not wire. It's winch. Uh, whatever. Winch line. Yeah. That's what we're using. If you're talking about all these other wires, this truck was built so long ago that you really didn't have waterproofed electronics. So I took a Radio Shack box and all of my electronics are in there. I basically made some bulkheads on the side. There's liquid, liquid electrical tape on everything. It's a mess, but that's okay because it survived for like 10 years, I think forever. I don't know. <sighs> Delicious water. I need like a drinking fountain in here. No power cable and yeah. <clears throat> so battery plug battery goes in the little hole. This, <clears throat> excuse me, hard to tell in the lighting, I guess, but basically inside the box is my receiver, a BEC and the plugs come out to some eyelets similar to what you'd use if you're doing automotive wiring. <clears throat> and I have some stainless screws with nuts, or actually those are uh, set screws, really long set screws, nuts on both sides, and then lock nuts on top of that so that it continues, you know, makes the, passes the power through the box, and then everything got a good helping of liquid electrical tape on top. So I think this is the servo, this may be the winch controller, and then the Oh, the ESC is in here too. It's probably a little Tekken FXR. And the power goes out the back for the motor. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and then, of course, the... Oh, <clears throat> I piggybacked the electrical for the rock lights and the body lights off of one of those. I guess that's the winch control. I don't know. You know, once everything gets covered in black electrical tape, the liquid stuff. It's hard to, to tell where anything is, where it's going. Was that vodka? No. But if you have some vodka you'd like to send, that would be fine. <clears throat> Just water. I don't find that vodka really lubricates my throat when I'm talking. I thought about bringing some sore throat cough drops, I don't know, to help. Because usually... My voice does fade towards the end of these things. So I spend most of my time at the desk, not interacting with people. So <clears throat> we need to take some things apart. Is basically where we are. I need to find my hub tools. Just the fronts, I guess. Because we need to start with taking off the wheels and tires instead of just sitting here eyeballing it. These are gonna be really clean, I suspect. Yeah. Yummy. Actually, I don't know which sot is actually better for you guys, but a little bit of dirt and muck. I tend to not wash my wheels and tires. You know, once every three or four years. Actually, that's not true. Usually, I just change out the wheels and the tires for uh, big competitions. What? What am I doing wrong here? Go in your home. Are you too good for your home? There you go. Oh, see, now it just slipped off. Need to focus. What is the box again? It does look very helpful. I need something like that. Um, the box, it's a box that Radio Shack used to sell. It was just a little electronics box. What is that? Jackie? Just leaving little things over. It's just a little electronics box that they sold. Where are my calipers? I'm sure you could find something similar. You may still be able to find something like this. Let's see. It's about 100 millimeters long, 50 wide. Not a really a good way to measure the height. And there we go. And... 30 tall. Um, 
any sort of box. I guess I could open that up and show you guys if you're interested. If you'd like to see the inside, if you want to know what's in the box, let me know and I'll, I'll open it up. Um, I want one with all my electronics are in the open. Yeah. Well, so at the time that I did this box, you couldn't get a waterproof ESC with a drag brake. You could get a waterproof ESC that was meant for a boat, but you couldn't get anything with a drag brake. So I kind of had to improvise. Thankfully, that's not a good screwdriver for that. <clears throat> Thankfully, the industry has adapted and they realize that a lot of us like to play in the water and the mud and, and whatnot. And when I open this, it's gonna be nasty. I mean, it's not pretty in there because I didn't build this truck to be pretty. It's a freaking H2. It was kind of built to be ugly. So, there you go. So, receiver is down in there. ESC, BEC. All of the wires come to these little eyelets, like I said, and then everything is just kind of bolted through. I didn't use set screws on this, I just used some stainless steel button heads. So basically, each wire has a little eyelet on it, right? The eyelet clamps to the side with the screw, and then there's another eyelet on the other side. That way, if I do need to change something, um, one of the components breaks, the servo dies, or whatever. I actually have a spare servo that already has eyelets on it for this truck. That way, I could just swap it out. I kind of miss Radio Shack, too. Yeah. It's uh, sad that they died, or whatever happens. We do have a Fry's Electronics here. Electron, yeah, I said that right. And they have just a ton of stuff. It's crazy how much stuff they have. <clears throat> anyway, that's that's what's in the box. Um, yeah. Radio Shack was, was good for a lot of things, and there was one like on every corner, in every mall, in every strip mall, and big shopping center, mall, whatever, whatever you got. Yeah. I can't even remember. God, what was the last, when was, when did Radio Shack close? It's been a while. I guess with the proliferation of online shopping most people don't find the emergency need for some sort of strange diode or potentiometer or whatever <laughs> yes fries does it have an e i thought it was fry maybe it's got an e i can't remember i don't look at the sign i just know where it is what was i doing man you guys distract me it's your it's everyone else's fault but mine i take no personal responsibility if i go over time I don't even know where my clock is. What time is it? 48 minutes in. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to finish all this tonight. Hmm. Curses. You know what? We're going to try to just get this taken out tonight. I think that's probably a more reasonable goal. That will give us some time for other things. Tools, tools, tools. Yeah. This is super... Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. That's going to plop down on my hand, isn't it? There we go. I wish... Does anybody know if there's an option to make Facebook read comments to me? I don't know if that would be helpful or really, <laughs> really irritating, depending upon whose voice it read them in. You know, like, can I hook my phone up to read comments in a live? But I guess then I'd have to be doing the live streaming on my phone, and that's... Don't want to do that. <clears throat> okay. This is a long bolt. My, what long bolts you have. I can just put these over here. That way I can't knock them off because I do tend to make that happen. Look at all the... See, I'm cleaning the truck now. That's what's happening. As I take things off, there's less dirt on it. 
There's a little more on my workbench, but that's okay. If I could get like a, I don't know what type of accent I would find most pleasing, but something, maybe just American, that would be fun. Stay on, spell check, keep changing, do a full rebuild on that truck. Um, Roman, I don't know if I'm doing a full rebuild on this truck or if I'm just kind of updating it because it's never, that's not true. It's not that it's never had a rebuild. It's just been a long time. Maybe, I don't know. If I do a full rebuild on the truck, I will be replacing the body. I have a collection of those bodies all to myself. <laughs> so I would replace the body with another one that just hasn't been destroyed. I kind of like that it's been destroyed. Maybe I could clean that one up, replace the mirrors. Yeah, I did at some point. Well, whatever. Long story. Good times. Maybe I'll do a full rebuild. I don't know. What's up, Jeff? <clears throat> oh, look at that. I'm just gonna, you gonna help me? There we go. What is happening? Where did the other link go? It's like spaghetti monster. That's gonna fall on me. I'll just slap it down. Oh, that one's tight. Oh, no. don't do, don't do it. Don't do it. Let it go. I know what you're thinking. Haha. -ha. Almost success. You only have 75 more to go. There's a tremendous amount of gook on this. <sighs> Gonna need some quarter eight ball bearings and some Presto. Who can name that movie? It's probably not a perfectly accurate quote. If you know the movie, you'll get it. So all I'm really doing right now is just taking everything apart at the axle. Then we will take the axle itself apart to some level. Although I'm not really sure there's, oh yeah, there's actually stuff in there that I want to salvage probably. Well, actually not salvage. Yeah, what am I talking about? We're gonna have to reuse all the internals. Yeah, we're taking it apart. Oh, that means there's gonna be another disgust. Hey Eric, can you come over next week? It's not because I want you to help me take the disgusting front axle apart. It's just because I have extra candy and I need you to come eat some. <sighs> Yummy. Let's see. There we go. God, I really need to get another pit mat. Oh my. That was glorious <clears throat> and so clean. I think for next time I do this, I'm going to wear some scrubs. I'll get one of the masks just for surgeries like this, you know. I don't know why that would be funny. Maybe it would just, I'd be humoring myself. I'd be laughing. I'm going to turn the fan on because it's, man, it's hot. Let's see. Can I get to the fan? Which one is the fan? Yeah. Okay. that will be a little bit better. Maybe it won't be. Well, it'll still be hot, but it'll be better. I don't know. My sweat will go somewhere else. Uh, what were we doing? So, we have removed the front axle. Maybe this will give you a bit better of an idea. So, remember, when I, when I made this, there was no machining. I didn't have any sort of CAD program. I went to... Let's see, at that point, I probably went to Home Depot. I don't think there was a Lowe's in our area yet. Bought some angle iron and just cut some stuff up, you know. Paper towel. Yeah, I have some paper. 
Why didn't you say that earlier, Derek? I got paper towels. Man. You guys have got to watch me because I just forget stuff. Oh, I need to stop thinking of movie quotes since nobody else guessed the other movie quote, which was from Fletch. Don't you people watch movies? What did y'all do when you were growing up in the 80s or whenever that came out? Still, it's a good movie. You guys should need to watch that. That's free if anybody wants that grass. Looks like it's from, I think that's, I don't know where that's from. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to take this apart because we need the internals to put in this guy. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, you know what? What were we doing? Well, I guess I already announced what the giveaway was, didn't I? Or I sort of announced it. I hinted at it. For tonight's giveaway. So this is a locked up RC t-shirt. It is an extra large. It is black. However... This shirt is special because it is a Gildan soft style ring spun in black. We don't have any other shirts like this. This one came to us from the t-shirt guy because we asked him to send us a whole bunch of variety of different things to, to test. And somehow, I guess, instead of the other normal black Gildans or whatever it is that we get, he sent us this one. So, if you would like to win this t-shirt, no, nope, that's yep, nope, there we go. Woo! Please share this video. You can share it to your homepage. You can share it to a group. I do ask that you share it to a relevant group because the little old ladies down the street that are gardening don't care about this stuff. Share it to a group. Share it to your homepage. Share it wherever and like our Facebook page. Next Monday during the day, I will go through all of the people that shared the video and I will cross-reference to see if they actually liked our page and if you are on that list. We come up with like everybody on the list and we pick a name. So it's pretty simple. Let's see. Never seen that movie. You didn't see Fletch? Man. Good old Chevy Chase movie. If you've ever seen any of his stuff, um, Caddyshack, right, is one that comes to mind. It's a, a big one. You'd like it. <laughs> That's super soft. Easy. Matthew, we actually do have some, the charcoal shirts that we have in now are all soft, the soft spun. They are not as, I mean, because they're softer, right? So they're not that heavy cotton, whatever, or whatever percentage, I don't even know what that one is, but of mystery fabric, I don't know what they are, made out of unicorn eyelashes and whatever. <clears throat> um the charcoal shirts that we have in the store are the soft, I don't know if they're Gildans, I can't remember, but they're the, the softer style. So they fit slightly differently and they're they're not as coarse. I think they're probably, on my guess is that they're not gonna hold up to as much you know damage, but it's not like you need armor or anything for what we do, maybe, I don't know. Let's see, so those shirts, uh, I'm actually also looking into some beanies and maybe jackets. We'll see. I don't know because the jackets are really crazy expensive. So that might be something where I actually just get a list of people and we'll do some sort of pre-order thing. I don't know. I don't know who would actually want a locked up RC jacket, but other than me and the team drivers, Chevy Chase is fantastic. Yes. Back to this. Wait, I already announced the giveaway. What else? Let's see. TS2 shock hoops. We're going to have to get to next time. This we're on this. I told you guys about the giveaway. Is there anything that I forgot? Probably lots of things that I forgot. Yeah, but we're going to take this apart a little bit more. So what do we need to do first? I want to get the steering linkage off. I put my tool up already. That was a costly mistake. It's costing lots of... Ha, ha, ha. I was like, what? It's the nut from before. I'm literally going nuts. Yep. Full of the dad jokes and bad puns. Just can't help it. Just, just popped in there. Couldn't help it. Also, and tonight is just movie quote night, because that is also another movie quote. Although I don't anyone to, I don't expect anyone to to get that one. Maybe a little more obscure. I don't know. 
but from one of my favorite movies. Wow, this steering linkage is in good shape. It's nice and unstraight. Yeah, this is actually an axial part that it appears I modified on one end. As you can see, this is a different length than that. Couldn't tell you why exactly I felt like that had to be modified. Offset rod end. I wonder why I did that. Wow, getting that other axle back on is what do we got? Thank you, Derek. I appreciate the comment. Compliment. Compliment comment? Yeah. Something like that. Um, let's see. Taking this off. It's funny because when I was first putting this axle together, and trying to figure out how to put a raised mount on here. So I had a little spacer in there to try and make it level. Oh, there's another spacer down. There's all sorts of fun DIY technology in here. When I crack this case in half, you guys are going to see the, the gunner tube in there that I modified. I'm just going to be like, what? Even I spaced this out backwards. See, so that could be an issue with the other bracket. I suspect I'm probably going to have to create an entirely new bracket system for that axle to get under here, but I'm willing to change things because I'm not planning on seriously competing with it anymore, so it doesn't really have to work the way that it used to. Whew. I don't know what link kit you're looking at, Roman, or for what vehicle, but we do sell, I think we call them threaded pipe in the store. We sell set screws and we sell rod ends, so you can build your own. They are, of course, specific lengths, but if you need to tweak them slightly, we've got spacers. <clears throat> so that is always an option. Oh, this is going to be gross. I don't know if I want to do this right now. At least do it on camera. Hey, get out of here. Guys, you got to remind me when I'm off center. Oh, you see how it's coming off nice and slowly and it's not popping off? That's because it's gross. It's going to be gross. Oh, nope, not that bad. Dirty. Yeah. So this was put together, I guess... Before we even had our own CVDs. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I think the first set of wheels that I had on here were too small and they rubbed on this. So maybe I had to clearance it. I don't know. We have since opened up the inner rings, so that shouldn't be a problem for anyone anymore. I actually expected this to be full of disgustingness like the rear axle was, but it's not. I don't know if that's good or not. S S D S C X ten two honcho links. Yeah, I don't know. Box of for stuff. Let's see. Is that yeah. Losing my mind. It's well documented. You know, normally I would try to save all this hardware in a specific order so I could put it all back on the way it came off but yeah I'm just not it's all so dirty and gross I mean, and I don't know a lot of this hardware is not going to be reused on the SSD housing so we're gonna have some figuring to do on how to get everything back together I don't I haven't been able to find any of the SSD tubes for these housings, so we may have to make some because, you know, I don't know, just in case I decide I want to maybe not seriously compete with this truck, but shame someone 
Nobody likes it when they're trying an obstacle and they can't get up it, and then the guy with the ugly giant school bus drives right up it. It's made me quite popular with the ladies, too, let me tell you. Uh, Derek, so the spacers that we have, we have, I think, one millimeter, two millimeter, four millimeter, and six millimeter. And those are just spacers. And those work with all of our threaded pipes. The threaded pipe links we've built around specific things. So we didn't just throw out threaded pipe, uh, and threaded pipe being stuff like this, right? So an aluminum shaft that is tapped and threaded on the ends. We didn't just throw out every possible size we could come up with. We did them for specific things like our pro CMS kit, tie rods, drag links, things like that. If you look on our site, I can't remember what all the headings are. Should probably know that, but I don't. <clears throat> or if you do a search for threaded pipe, I want to say that's what they're under. However many of them are should show up. For instance, I think one's like a 122, 114, I don't know, 87, 96, something, whatever. Um, we've got a lot of different sizes. It is not an exhaustive list, and I know I am getting more added. Let's see, I just had some new ones added that I put up for, what was that for? That was for the TF2 CMS kit, yeah. Uh, and the, the front three link, we are making a TF2 rear four link, and I believe I'm making different length pipes for that also. I can't remember what the exact links are, um, but you can you can take a peek on the site. Need to need to make a note to myself to figure out some way to suck in. I guess an internet browser window in this interface so that I can just show things on the website if people are asking, especially when we do Q&A, which I will try to kick off next week. That's going to run into our, our playtime Q&A, but I think it'll be fun or it'll be terrible. What? That's perfectly clean. See, look, there's some of the red grease still. This was completely full the last time I worked on it. I mean, jam packed. So this is so old that I think that might be a bonus line locker. That's how old this is. I don't know if you guys even remember that, but some of you older guys probably will. So back when I was competing with my Maybe it was the Wheelie King. I don't know. Yeah, that old. So I was competing with the Wheelie King, and I think this was the go-to locker, and I had a spare one and dropped it in the front of this. Anyway, what do we got? Welcome, Dion. Those are RC four-wheel drive Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. Someone commented in the last video how, why, or how, or whatever. Oh, your tires are on backwards. Yep, I run them backwards. Uh, I run them backwards based on the theory that is, I guess, prevalent, whatever goes around something in the one-to-one -one world that, <clears throat> you know, those these tires, when you run them, I don't want to pick it up because we're going to get more dirt everywhere, but when you run them forward, they're better in the mud. When you run them in reverse, so the Vs work the other way and they kind of whip around and catch on rocks. In theory, it's a theory. I mean sizing is different and whatever so I also just kind of like the way they look uh, I guess but I think last time yeah so see last time when I put these on I put them on forward not a big deal some people run the rears forward and the fronts backwards I guess that way if you're stuck in something it will help one way or the other I, I don't know it's all it's just you know it's just particle physics. It's not a big deal. You know, no, it's not particle physics, no. So 
Ha, ha, this is what I was talking about. Come here. Oh, no, I need a clean, I need a less dirty paper towel. So I'll make this one less dirty by doing that. Wow, look at the ugliness of this. You know, I wish I had one of the newer units to compare this for you guys. So this was the first gunner tube that I modified by welding material. And that's actual like weld bead. I didn't weld something to it. I just built it up. Drilled it and tapped it and then popped some holes in the housing so that it would all fit together. So we've got this, I think. Well, nope, we still gotta take this apart. Ha ha! One more thing. Oh, I bet this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So I will try to remember for next time. I will bust out one of our new, I guess, the replacement version of that for anyone that still has these old housings and wants them. Is this gonna come off? <sighs> Not easily. Ha! Huh. Another set screw on the other side. And these gears are also old enough, as Eric noticed when we did the rear end last time, they don't have the through holes in the pinion. They are flat spots, which Axial moved away from because the ones with the holes, I think, probably hold a little better. Just a little bit of Loctite on there. Oh, it came right off. Look at that. The bearings are actually in decent condition. Not great, but decent. That one actually looks like it may have backed out of here. Yeah, I'm not really going to save the bearings in here. Hey, Paul, if you're watching this, I didn't see Paul check in tonight. Paul asked if he could have the rear axle housing last time, and I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, let me know if you want the front, too. It's also in delicious condition. Although I don't know if I want to get rid of the front because it has more sentimental value. But what am I going to do with this? Maybe I could just keep this one gunner tube. You know, make a, a trophy out of it. Frame it, put it on the wall. Locked up RC's first gunner tube. I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Dion, so much stuff is up. We've... I say so much stuff is up. We've done some things. We've We've talked about some movies. A lot about food. I find myself using used Revo link balls for spacers. Just wondering if you had something for that need. Revo balls, seven millimeters long. I'll use mine. I can see one on the front of my suit. So you're using the just the balls as spacers, and they're seven millimeters long. So we have a six millimeter spacer, and we have a one millimeter spacer. You could combine them and make a seven millimeters of spacer. All you really need to do is get a longer set screw. I'm assuming that whatever you're using is using, well, I shouldn't say I'm assuming. That would be assuming if you are using three millimeter set screws with your rod ends. If you're using actual Revo rod ends, those are bigger. So the stuff that we have is not gonna work for that. Those big giant rod ends are awesome. They are super, super durable. But for scale stuff and for fitting everything underneath these trucks, we've stuck and tried to stick to just things that are like a three millimeter base. So if you need something that's got that big of a rod end, I don't have anything. But if you want to go to something a little bit tinier, that's probably still plenty durable. It all depends on what you're doing. If you're freaking bashing the heck out of your truck or doing high speed running or whatever, yeah, the stuff we have, it's not gonna last as long. That's just how things are. Uh, but for everything that I've done and everything that's ever been on this truck, I've been pretty happy with three millimeters, um, the three millimeter rod ends. Blah, that was a lot. Need some water. Words. Ah, delicious. Dion, yes. We already got the rear end. 
now we are doing the front. These are the last ones I could find. I actually couldn't even find, if you if you have any, let me know, the tubes for these housings. I couldn't find any. I can make some. It's not that big a deal, but if somebody has some and they don't want them. Actually, I wonder if I could repurpose these. <laughs> anyway, I may be able to repurpose those. I don't know that I really want to because... It's just going to be, actually, I've got some regular gunner tubes I could use. These will, I'll probably go with the axle if someone decides they want that. First dibs to Paul, just because he's taking the rear already. So I think that's it. This is all as disassembled as we're going to get it for tonight, I think. Everything else is just going to be bolting the axle. Actually, you know what? I am going to bolt the stuff onto this housing. I have to do this to remind myself where the camera is. I'm going to put some of this stuff in the housing just so that it's not rolling around on my workbench. Staples. Scissors? Yeah. Why did why do we have a I don't know why that's tied on there. It's like racing scissors with a little Yeah. I need to go back and edit out some of my own comments just because they're ridiculous. Kinda link a truss mount. Kind of like a truss mount, maybe? Is that what we're saying? I don't know. Let's see. You should have messaged me. I have a set already built, but I s built. I swapped out of the brute built. Hey, Dion, if you still don't, if you have some of those, and you, send me a message. Uh, these, I, I do want to put in this truck, but I have uh, three more. I have three more original SCX-10s. One of them, I want to put SCX-10 two axles in. One, I think, is staying the way it is because someone has agreed to purchase it, so I'm not going to mess with it. But the other one, um, maybe I could put those in. We'll see. Yeah, message me because I forget things all the time. Okay, where are we? This should just... We're going to reuse this lovely grease that's in there. I know that's horrifying. Actually, man, you know what? I really want to replace the bearings. <clears throat> I am going to hold off on doing this now because I don't have bearings in front of me. I want to replace all the bearings that are in here. So basically this is all going to get dumped in a box for the time being. Great. Glad I opened this. Not thinking clearly. Yeah. We're going to save this. We will pick up next time right here with this mess. Working on that. I think. Wow. Yeah. Good, we still have other things to talk about next time. We may have to make the show a little bit longer next week. That's easier when I have someone here. Wow, we're already at almost an hour and 20, though. So, pretty long this week. <clears throat> anyway, anybody have any questions before I sign off? I think, let's see, we did the giveaway, right? So, anybody that's tuned in to the end of this t shirt. Extra large, black, ring spun, gildan, soft style, up for grabs. Like our page, share the video. You can like the video too, that's fine. But please like our page, share this video. Someone will be picked to win the t-shirt. See, we installed our M2 by one hardware in the diff covers. For anyone that missed that, they're now pretty. Or is that camera better? It says a different light. I don't know why I'm ducking. Right? Does that help anything if I duck? No. That doesn't do anything. So next week, we will get into this again. I will save trying to get into the Hey OK controller. And I will save the TF2 shock hoop prototypes for next week. Assuming that none of you guys pop up in here with any comments. Questions, I should say. Tune in. I tune in. I hit the notification alerts. Splendid. Where is my XL charcoal gray T-shirt? Did, did I not? Did I not send you a shirt? Was I supposed to send you a shirt, Dion? Wait, I thought I did send you a shirt. I don't know if you're messing with me or not. 
You got me if you're trying to mess with me. Because I really, I thought we did send you a shirt. We were supposed to, I feel like. Hmm. If I was supposed to send you a shirt and I really didn't, please let me know because I can't, I can't remember. <clears throat> anyway. Can you send me the specs for that electronics box? Sean, send me a PM and I will respond to it tomorrow because everything from, from now on, from the end of the night, my brain will just delete probably. <clears throat> but as I said before, the electronics box is an RC, uh, RC four wheel drive. It's not an RC four wheel drive box. No, no, it's Radio Shack. Yeah, they don't, they don't make things anymore. Maybe you could find one on eBay. I suspect if you look for just electronics box, maybe you could find something similar. Got the blue one, wearing it now. Was I supposed to send you a charcoal one and I accidentally send you a blue one? That's not right. Did I mess that up? Crap. That makes me sad. Well, <clears throat> anyway, someone's gonna win that shirt. Dion, if I still owe you a shirt, I will send you one. We will do that. That will be on a list. I need a, that's what I need. I need a dry erase board right here. Or right here, because I'm right-handed. And if I have to do this, that doesn't look as good. Anyway. Now I'm just being silly. So I want to thank everybody for watching, as always. Next week, we will get into the things we already talked about. I will announce whoever wins the shirt. I'm sure there will be something new that will come up. If you are not watching the Jackie Builds a Capra series, we've been doing that. We've done, I think, three episodes of that. We'll have another episode of that tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. I know it's the middle of the day, <clears throat> but that's when we're at work. That's when Jackie's at work. If you can check it out, that's great. If you can't check it out on Facebook, we do add all of them to our YouTube page, which I encourage everyone to please go and like and subscribe and all that nonsense. I hate having to say all of that. I don't, I don't know. Do you guys actually find if you're watching a YouTube video and they say, please remember to like and subscribe and they like, does that actually make you want to like and subscribe or does that make you irritated? I don't know. Anyway, that's all I've got. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Please tune in next time, and I will see you next week.